Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. How are we all doing? Sidima Vanessa Adechina is trending once again in South Africa. Remember, she just arrived in Mexico for the Miss Universe 2024 content. She's representing Nigeria. But then, why is she trending in South Africa again? So, officially, her South African citizenship and that of her mother has been cancelled. Why did they cancel their citizenship, you might ask? Because, according to the news, her mother stole someone's identity. So, that means her own identity is also fake. Let us look at this video, then we'll come back to discuss it in details. The cases that you're dealing with, uh, particularly of fraud, uh, we had raised uh, this question to the minister regarding uh, Chidima Adichina's uh, mother having um, obtained uh, her identification in South Africa fraudulently. Uh, I just want to get a sense uh, from you, uh, because when we asked the minister this question, uh, in his reply, he had indicated that that travel, uh, particularly her um, ability or her ability to have traveled to Nigeria for, for that contest, um, the minister said that that case was under investigation. Um, can you just get a, get a, can we get an update on the status of the initial investigation? that was mentioned uh, to the portfolio committee and also um, what is the current status of the investigation into the mother's travel uh, to Nigeria um, and also where are the both of them uh, Chidima and and her mom at the current moment thank you your your questions on the collaboration with law enforcement it's a question that the chair also asked outside the country how do we work with others uh, we do work well uh, with uh, Interpol, uh, which is what uh, allowed us to go to Arusha in Tanzania uh, through that uh, uh, collaboration with Interpol and the government of the, uh, the Republic of Tanzania to go and pick up both uh, Tabo Pesta and, uh, and Nandi Pama Goodman. And we are working with them uh, on the matter that uh, you have raised, uh, Honorable uh, Ngobeni, with regards to uh, Adichina and the, the mom, uh, collaboration with Interpol and the government of the, uh, the Republic of Tanzania to go and pick up both uh, Tabo Pesta and, uh, and Nandi Pama Goodman. And we are working with them uh, on the matter that uh, you have raised, uh, Honorable uh, Ngobeni, with regards to uh, Adichina and the, the mom. Uh, so that matter is currently with... Uh, the DPCI have concluded that investigation according to General Libya. They are now waiting for the NPA uh, to advise them on the next steps. From our side, we've ended over the file. We've completed the work which was done by counter corruption and security services. That work is done. We've actually written uh, to both uh, Adichina and the mom and indicated, I think the last day was yesterday. And they need to give us reasons as to why those documents should not be withdrawn. As of yesterday, we have not received any response, and therefore the department will be proceeding uh, with the withdrawal of those documents in line with the Identification Act. So they say they are working with Interpol to bring her back and bring her mother back so they can face the consequences of their action to fake charges. So that is not even what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is that they say they directed, they wrote a letter to them or they sent them a message that they were in they were invited actually they were invited by home affairs to come and tell them why should this identity be cancelled and why should we not uh, cancel your identity and up to day for yesterday none of them came neither Chidema nor the mother i'm like why okay like, let me not talk about the mother because since we are talking about Chidema, let's not talk about the mother because she is the one we are dealing with here okay now they told you to come why didn't you go before leaving to nigeria look for me i felt because even the home affairs said it, that she didn't commit any crime that is her mother that committed the crime so for me i feel that she would have gone to answer them like talk to them she would have gone to answer the queries that were addressed to her this is not my it's not my doing i didn't do this i was a child when this was done I feel that if she did that, if she went to answer that letter or answer that email or go as, you know, as they told her to come, this thing wouldn't have gotten to this point. They wouldn't have cancelled her identity because they know that 
this is she was just a child when this thing was done so for her to you know ignore the home affair and came to nigeria to participate in the miss universe nigeria is it's totally wrong trust me it's wrong i will say that but then now a lot of people are saying why is that africa bringing up the case right now like yeah i'm asking the question why is it coming up right now what are they trying to achieve by bringing up the case right now her identity have been cancelled and she's wanted according to what you guys are saying according to, according to the comments i'm seeing it's okay we should just let the law take its course we just let the authority to do what they think is right to do let them do it we are watching right seriously at a point i felt that everybody have moved on like whenever i make, make a video some people always come to say stop showing the mat on our faces we have moved on we have moved on and i've come to realize from yesterday to today that no one has moved on you guys still have that uh, you know bitterness for her and all that remember this was just an inherited crime okay the problem the, the issue i have with her right now is for her not going to answer the home affair when they you know invited her to come she should have gone to answer them before leaving south africa remember that again a lot of people are watching different countries are watching and different countries are reacting to this right now like a lot of countries are reacting to it right now let's see this video nigerians look at what grown men are still talking about they're still talking about id who cares about that one cheating mass id you are doing this you nobody cares anymore they don't know we have moved on everyone has simply moved on this girl has moved on. Now what they are doing is to try to demoralize this girl so that her chances of winning the Miss Universe right there is slimmer. But Chidema, let me tell you something. If you pay attention to news like this, I'll call you the most ungrateful human being in the world. If you're still looking back to South Africa, you are the most ungrateful idiot that has ever existed. If this girl looks back to South Africa, she will be the most ungrateful, Im imbecile. I'm telling you the truth. If you ever, you tell me that this bothered you, you come and cry for anybody, don't cry for federal, don't cry for state. We don't want to hear. As it stands right now, what you have been given is an opportunity of a lifetime. And consider this a grace. Consider it a grace in your life. And then again, I will tell you something, this Chidema. There were girls there before you came, and they gave you a chance. All the girls stepped back for you to get this. Remember, all the girls over there stood up for you to get kicked out. So at this point, I want you to always remember that the girl who won Miss South Africa last two years, she's looking for jobs today. The girl who won Miss South Africa two years ago, three years ago, they are all looking for jobs. They have no, no one even appreciates them as ambassador of this. You have been made ambassador of so many things. You have a face, you can sell books, you have a story. You have even a bigger platform to share your story than any Miss South Africa ever, ever. I'm telling you from the inception till now, your story is worth a million than theirs so if i see you cowering you're breaking your bone you i kind of agree with him you know you know a lot of opportunity she have right now and a lot of opportunity have been given to her i saw her in la and i had she was uh, you know getting involved in one movie thing or something like that not sure of that not confirmed yet if i confirm of course i'll bring the gist for you guys but a lot of opportunity she have now she can't afford to mess it up if you ask me like we are looking up to her me i am rooting for her because she's there to represent nigeria right now okay so she should do her best she has to just do her best don't fall our hand because we are looking up to you we are looking up to you we are voting we are rooting because it's nigeria that is at stake right now don't let whatever they are saying get to you don't let it get to you just concentrate to try as much as possible to concentrate thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next one let me know your thoughts in the comment section do us to subscribe if you're new here and don't forget to turn your post notification on so you'll be the first to know whenever i put out any video thank you so much for your constant support on this channel i love you guys and i will see you in my next one bye